Now, now supposing that uh, you get elected mm. um, in August and somewhere down the road, two years, three years, you have a problem with your deputy, Buanarigadi um, Gashagwa, for whatever reason, and you disagree completely, almost in the same manner that has happened right now, uh, whichever direction it, it, it comes from, what are you going to do? <laughs> I want to tell you, uh, Joe, that uh, what you have said will never happen. It will not happen. It doesn't just I, depend I on want, you, sir. I want, I want, I want to tell you that um, I will not allow, for example, my running mate or my deputy president to be humiliated by junior staff. I would not want uh, a situation where clear responsibility. In fact, I have, I have said it as much, and I have said I have committed. Whatever takes, whatever takes, we must get rid of our deputy. Tuko na watu wengi kutoka yu mulima inasema izibuse murima, sujui murima, sujui murima, tukilara murima, tukiamuka murima, tukiamuka fitina, tukiamuka sujui nini. Wewe ni kiongozi umechaguliwa, balala ukuje upande wa ungozi na upande wa ungozi umeruka upande wa raya, kwanza kulia na raya. That one will not happen. Ata uchoche chiazi gani. Unaongea uongo usiku, unaongea uongo mchana, mambo unaongea ukishika microphone ni mambo tafauti unaongea ukio kwa ofisi. Isi wewe unasimama kila siku na usema ati mimi ni msema kweli na wewe ndio muongo mkubwa mwenye unaongoza kwa uongo wewe ni mtu umechaguliwa mwaka mbili kwa mfano umechaguliwa chini ya mwaka mbili uko na saidi ya hoteli tano ulinunua na nini eh ulinunua na nini ndio mimi nasema itafika mahali tutaambiana ukweli ili watu waheshimiane na tuongoze wa Kenya na tupeleke wa Kenya mbele nyinyi mnasemaje wanaiji Si ni ukweli? Si ukweli ni mzuri? Eh, kwa sababu hakuna haja kudanganyana, unakuja unasungusha watu, unasungusha watu. Unasungusha watu mpaka hata kasi ya Yesu fanyika kwa sababu yako. Hiyo naye haiwezekani. Na ndio mimi nataka niseme nikiwa hapa ya kwamba I think for now my life comes first, my health comes first. It's unfortunate that when I was here in hospital my brother and friend President William Ruto ordered for the withdrawal of my security. From the hospital here, I've been here alone without a single officer looking after me. He ordered the withdrawal of security guards in my rural home in Nyeri, in my private home here in Karen. And all officers who are close to me were disarmed and given warning that they should not be anywhere near me. I didn't know President William Ruto can be that vicious. I am shocked by how vicious a man I helped to be president, a man that I believed in, a man that I was persecuted when supporting him, could so be so vicious against me when I'm literally fighting for my life in hospital. How cruel can a man be? You know? As we speak today, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, regarding Ashagwa, has no single security officer around him. She's alone. And um, I am aware that a judge seated in Kirogoya, another one seated in Midimani, gave conservatory orders, staying the proceedings of the Senate, which effectively means I'm Deputy President. When the President in total violation of the court orders, viciously, with due security around me, again, to cripple the functions of my office, he ordered through the head of public service, Felix Koske, that all officers in my office be sent on compulsory leave. Yes, last night, all vehicles assigned to officers who work under me were impounded to cripple the office of the deputy president. I don't understand this level of viciousness to a man who have been your deputy who helped you to become president.
irrespective of whatever he has done. At his lowest moment in life, when he's literally struggling to stay alive, you unleash such viciousness against him. I bear no grudge against anybody, but uh, this had, had not seen that in President William Ruto. The man I'm seeing is the one is not the one that I thought that I knew.